Here we are again with Everton. It, it never rains, but it pours, does it? And there is the, the immediate issue of the points deduction, but also this wider issue around the, the takeover saga and, and where this ownership is going. I think this is much more important, the, the takeover and who the, the owners will be in the future of Everton, because I know I'm not the most popular at the moment with the Everton fans in terms of how they see the point deduction. I, I put most of that blame at the, at the club's feet, door, if you like, in terms of what the ownership have done over the, the last few years. But I understand they're frustrated either, certainly with the Premier League. And, and there's, there's reasons why, I think, the fact you know, there's been different sort of panels looking at different clubs. I think the points initially, the 10 points, I get the frustration there. I, certainly in the last few days when you see what Chelsea have done in terms of selling hotels to basically themselves to make sure they pass, you know, the PSR, I think is a, a bit of a, a joke and you can understand the frustration from Everton and Nottingham Forest supporters on the back of that. But the reason Everton find themselves where they are is because of poor ownership. Now, they've got an owner right now who's basically gone AWOL. machine has gone. It's almost like he's not in charge of the club and there's a group 777 partners who are basically propping up the club they're paying 20 25 million pound a month to keep the club afloat and keep them going but on september the 15th mishiri came out publicly for the first time and said he was going to basically sell his 94 percent share of the club and his preferred sort of partners if you own a partners people to take over the club with, with the group i've mentioned 777 he said that process would take sort of eight to 12 weeks. Seven months to the day later, you're still sort of scratching your head, why has this not happened? So the Premier League are probably in a position right now where they're looking at, at them and saying, are these fit and proper owners? And have they actually got the money? Show us the money. If you want to take over, there's sort of four stipulations they gave them and they haven't met them. And today, haven't a football club are due to pay MSP, 158 million. I think the deadline's midnight, midnight tonight. tonight. That doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, An MSP, uh, for context, or another investment group based in New York. So it's one group of lenders having to pay back another. And, and the problem is, if the Premier League are looking at this group, they'll also be worrying if they say no to them. Who is actually going to keep Everton going? right now so the frustration about the points is this season and hopefully for Everton they'll move out of that because I'm, I'm I'm Liverpool of course I am but I am really passionate about Everton and football in our city we need two Premier League clubs and we need whoever the owner is whether it's 777 Mishiri stays or somebody else to finish that st that stadium I think will transform Everton Football Club and it'll be fantastic for our city as well uh, so this for me not the points deduction that'll be over at the end of the season I think Everton will stay up but the new ownership is much more important than a points deduction, and this needs to be sorted out right away. And people who are sort of getting involved with the points deductions need to be getting involved in this as well and find out what is going on and why an owner's gone AWOL.